Heart disease in dogs. In this edition of Veterinary Secrets, I'm going to be showing you three new alternative remedies that can even work with your conventional veterinary medication. This is Dr. Andrew Jones. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to get a copy of my free book. You can click the link in the box below for more information. Welcome back. You guys, this here is Griffin. He comes to us from Ontario, all this way just to be on camera on YouTube. Oh boy, he's a little pug Boston Terrier cross. He's about 10 years old and he's got heart disease. So Griffin has been on heart medication a little under a year. He's on a couple of different veterinary ones. He's on one to help his heart called Vetmedin. And he's in another one called Lasix or furosemide, which helps deal with all that excess fluid. And he appears to be doing pretty well. One of the big markers to know whether or not your dog's doing well on heart medication is one, their energy level, which he seems to have a fair amount of energy. And secondarily, are they gonna be coughing a lot, especially at night? So it appears that, well, Griffin <laughs> is not doing very much coughing. Of course, there he is coughing right for the YouTube video, but I'm putting, he's putting, his, I'm putting a little bit of pressure on his throat just to keep him in the camera. So the first remedy I want to discuss is using some type of alternative as a diuretic. So Griffin is on a medication called Lasix or, Lasix or furosemide, and what it does is help take away this excess fluid that builds up in heart disease. It can build up in the airways, and that's part of the reason why is doing that. We'll be doing that coughing. So a really good option is this here. It's actually dandelion. This one is a combination of dandelion leaf and dandelion root. What you need it to be is a tincture of dandelion, but it needs to include the dandelion leaf. So that has the diuretic properties to it. Um, it's been studied in people. It's been studied in an array of different animals, and actually been shown to be a fairly effective herbal diuretic. If we're gonna be using it on something like Griffin, um, we're using about a half a mil of this tincture, which is about 125 mils of this dandelion leaf root combination uh, per 20 pounds of body weight. I think he's about 20 pounds. So I'd be using about a half a mil of that tincture twice a day. So Griffin, here would be your half a mil dose. So it's about to there. And I'm not gonna give it to you now because I don't think you're gonna necessarily like it. And I might just drop it into your food to have you eat it, or just drop it into a throat. So the next remedy I wanna discuss is an antioxidant that's actually found, one of the most common antioxidants found in most cells in the body. It's called this here, coenzyme Q or ubiquinone. It's one which is found in especially high concentration in the heart muscle cells. And there's a bunch of research, especially in people that have heart disease, uh, and have found it to be especially beneficial, especially as heart, heart disease progresses. So, so the point of what coenzyme Q10 is doing is actually just helping that ailing heart muscle. So you, as you guys can imagine, in heart disease and heart failure, you've just got you know, this muscle that is slowly just not pumping as effectively as it should be. You're kind of want to giving your dog whatever you can to sort of that little extra boost just to help the muscle cells themselves. So something like coenzyme Q10, we're looking at doses of about a milligram per pound. Based on Griffin's weight, he'd get about 20 milligrams. These are 30 milligram little capsules. He'd get a little over half of a capsule. Mmm, lucky you. Whether or not, good boy. Oh, I think you'd be a great little patient. Yes, <laughs> good boy. Oh, you want that? Oh, oh you like treats. Yeah, <laughs> you like treats. Oh, good boy. Yeah, okay. Oh. <laughs> yes, I like your treats now. So the last remedy I want to discuss is something that you've likely heard of, but maybe not in contacts with heart disease or heart failure. CBD or cannabidiol, which we have here. So CBD itself has actually been researched and studied, especially with cardiovascular disease in people. And what they're finding is it can actually be beneficial in a couple different ways. 
First of all, the main principle with one of the big principles in treating heart disease is making it easier for the heart to pump. So when heart failure gets more difficult, the blood vessels constrict. Cannabidiol or CBD can actually help dilate a thing called vasodilation, making it a little bit easier uh, for, the, for the heart to actually pump. It's not un pumping under so much pressure. So for something like a Griffin, in part that's how his one heart medication is working. It's, it's called vasodilation. It's dilating the peripheral blood vessels, making it easier for his heart to pump. So the second point or the potential benefit of CBD and heart disease um, is that it can also help improve um, blood flow in certain areas. So a common secondary thing that can happen in heart disease is we can see signs of stroke. And what they're finding is that cannabis oil is improving a thing called cerebral blood flow. Okay, Griffin, so there's a couple different ways it could potentially help you. Um, at the doses I'm generally suggested you treat your dog with, um, they seem to be low enough that they're not causing any secondary interactions if your dog happens to be on other heart medications. So something like Griffin, he'd be on about one milligram per 10 pounds, would be on about two milligrams twice a day, which equate to this CBD would equate to one drop. All right, Griffin, and I think you're gonna like it. So there's are three new alternative remedies you may not have heard of that can be really beneficial for dogs that have heart disease. Um, to begin with, we're dealing with the dandelion tincture, especially the using dandelion leaf. I've seen a number of different animals respond really well to it as a natural diuretic. Secondly, coenzyme Q10, got a bu bunch of research behind it. Encourage you to look into that. And lastly, CBD. It's a newer supplement, a new big treatment. Many of you have heard of it, not yet to use it on your dogs. And I've not thought to consider it with heart disease. It's something I really think you should be considering. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Energy Secrets. Thanks, Griffin, for being an awesome little star. If you get to do so, I encourage you to get a copy of my free book. You can click the link in the box below for more information. Good boy. <laughs> Griffin. Oh, good boy.